Hey guys, what's up? I'm back at you with another video review. Um, sorry, I'm not drink. But anyway, um, continuing on with my Halloween horror fest, I thought I'd do another Halloween item. Uh, not the the movie with Michael Myers, but a movie. Um, Sleepy Hollow is gonna be returning to me tomorrow, so I'll be able to review that. Um, I do have an upcoming little preview of what's coming after the the horror fest, which will probably end on Halloween. Predators. I finally got this movie. Can't wait to do a review on it. I'm so excited. Yes, I will do that. That's I feel on my, on my number one list. Um, my dad still has Sleepy Hollow. He's coming down tomorrow. He'll get that back to me, and I'll get a review on that as quick as I can. Iron Man 2, I still don't know. But anyway, I thought I'd do something along the line of apparel for this video. Um, I actually tried to wear this to a Florida Panthers game, but they went, my, I did take the risk. But this is my review of a... Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger glove. Um, this is a costume glove, by the way, not those pro quality ones. Um, there's quite a few versions of this thing you can get. You can get this one, you can get the crappy $10 glove, which is just a glove with this whole piece on it on there, but it's just, it doesn't move at all. Um, and then there's the deluxe ones, which are made by House of Horror and NECA, for the remake of the original. But if you're a diehard Nightmare on Elm Street fan, you'll check out NightmareGloves.com, which make the best Nightmare on Elm Street gloves out there. Although they're freaking expensive. I could frack a Cylon for that much money. I can't even. I don't even know how to frack a Cylon. How? Oh, I don't care. I'm not that big of a Star Galactic fan. But it's actually pretty nice. I like the blades. Um, the only thing I don't like is that um, they did pretty bad on the paint. Um, you will know some of it's chipping off, but they did pretty bad on the paint. Um, so I'm not really a fan. If you look here on the uh, thumb blade, on the uh, what is this middle finger blade? Um, there's a lot of paint smudge there. I guess I could pass it off as blood. I don't know, but anyway, let me go ahead and put this on. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and put this on. I'll put it on in front of you guys, that way I don't have to, you know, do it off camera. My last glove review, I put it on off camera. Okay, now I've got it on. Feels pretty good in my hand, though. I can't really pick up anything. I can't even try to pick up my drink with the blade. Nah, can't pick anything up with this. Maybe. Nah, I can't do it unless I'm opening it with the palm of my hand, but feels pretty good. The blades are pretty flexible. I can flex them pretty good. Do Freddy's classic finger movements. Feels pretty good. Um... The only thing I don't really like is that on the uh, pointer and the pinky joints, the glove is pretty big, and this is an adult sized glove, but um, I like it. I like the black smudges, it gives the seal the whole burn effect. Pretty good. Um, the blades, I'll just show one of them for example, the blade is blunted as to not hurt anybody. It's, it's blunt, so you can touch it and it won't cut you. Um, Nightmare gloves, gloves, I'm not sure if they're actually sharp or not. I know they're made of metal, but I don't think they're sharp. I mean, you know, like, you could do this and, it, and you won't get cut with the metal blades, but I'm not sure if the blades are blunted. But anyway, um, yeah, um, would I recommend this? Um, if you're a Nightmare on Elm Street fan and you want, like, you know, a proc, a prank item, or if you want a glove for your glove collection, or if you just want one, like I did, um, check out, uh, Halloween City, that's where I got this, that's the cheapest, um, they sell, I got this for 13 bucks, um, but before too long, places are probably gonna have Halloween sales, cause next week is Halloween, and probably people ever ha already have their costumes bought up by now, so, but that stores are gonna start selling, having sales on DVD, on their, on their, uh, uh, costumes, and costume accessories. The only thing I'm really going to buy is if it's on sale as a white gangster fedora. I've actually seen quite a couple costume prop, costume accessories that really surprised me. Like the, the Immortal Mask from 300. Uh, this is awkward. But anyway, I also saw the uh, a Berserker Predator Mask for 50 bucks. I passed. Um... It was the whole helmet with the dreads and the uh, the jaw underneath. It wasn't just the bio mask, which I wish it was. I would have bought it. And it was made of 
of uh, rubber, not plastic, which is disappointing. I see a listing for one on Amazon for the Wolf Predators mask from, Pre from AVPR Requiem, AVP Requiem, but that was made of plastic, not metal. Um, they also had uh, the Jigsaw Puppet Mask at, at Spirit Halloween at a uh, um, at another Halloween store, Halloween Express. I went to. They had the Pig Mask from the Saw movies, and the one at, at Halloween City actually had one that had phrases like. Um, what phrase? It had, do you want to play a game? Live or die, make your choice. Suffering, you haven't seen anything yet. And this is your wake-up call, followed by him laughing. Um, I also saw a white gangster fedora, which kind of reminded me of Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. Or Common Rider Skull, which is the main reason I'm going to get it. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not going as any of those this year. I'm going as... Um, Um, a Ghostbuster again, with a minor modification. By the way, while I've got this video up, um, the con the contest for my Halloween videos ends next Friday, and so far I've gotten no entries. Why haven't you guys not entered it? Are you not interested? Are you not able to get your... Are you still trying to find your answers? What? I haven't gotten one entry since I launched that thing. But the contest ends next Friday, and I didn't include a bonus. The bonus is this, um... There was a nursery rhyme that's played in the Nightmare on Elm Street films, one of the most iconic songs from the film. Quote it. Um, I'll give you the first bit, one, two, phrase coming for you. Recite include the, the whole thing, including that first bit. That's the whole thing. Include it in the, as a bonus question, if you want to answer it. Um, um, again, the contest ends next Friday, I mean next Saturday, next Friday the 29th. I need your answers by then. Um, I will announce the winner either the 30th or the 31st, depending on how, if I'm busy one of those days. I know I'm going to be busy Thursday, uh, the 30th, because I'm running around in my costume if people are going down in their costumes, because I want to get a lot of heads turning. And I will also, on the 31st, I'll be handing out get candy to the trick-or-treaters, but I'll hopefully get a review win by then. But again, um, Predators will probably be up by after the Halloween fest I'm doing. Uh, the last pieces that I really need to review are Sleepy Hollow, if I can find it. And if I f make any, and I still need to find my uh, Jason mask I got last year. And if I can, and if I do go any, to any stores and do get, go and get involved with any of their clearance sales, I will show my acquisitions or purchases. Also, I do have another T Fury order on the way, which has something to do with Nightmare on Elm Street and Predator. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it's called. You'll, you'll have to wait for yourself. But yeah, uh, the contest question, I will, the new one I'll put down the underbar. Have I been wearing this all video until I showed it? Awkward. Anyway, yeah, um, I highly recommend this if you're a big Nightmare fan. But um, I guess that's about it. Later guys, I'm out of here. I'm coming for you.